Welcome back. It's day eight of every day in May. Right now we are waiting for Olivia to come out of her house. It's 9.24 in the morning. We're going to go to my parents' house. Well, we're going to pick up some coffee, go to my parents' house, hang out for, for a little bit, feed Gemma there, and then we're going to go to the beach and take <clears throat> a couple photos. And here Olivia comes. So we'll update you then. Panda decor sucks because you can only take Swamped at the beach. <laughs> okay, we just took some pictures and there's a struggle and now she's asleep. <laughs> you guys should have seen her before. <laughs> memories I just took a shower with no one watching Gemma she's currently napping in her crib and wow I mean it might have been the quickest shower of my life but I am in shock that I actually did it because it's been Two months now and I have that was the first time I took a shower with no one else watching her and it was the quickest shower of my life I had my ca the camera open the entire time so I could see her and she just slept the entire time and that is yeah wow now I'm speeding to lotion up and change and everything so she doesn't wake up. I'm gonna try to get this done before she does start crying. Oh, I'm fidgeting right now. Look at her freak. So Zach's flight was delayed earlier and he waited and was gonna go on the flight and as he was ordering an uber it got delayed again and that would have caused him to miss his connecting flight back home so now he's there for another night and he won't be home until like five tomorrow and i'll be at work so i won't see him until 8 p.m Probably not until 9 p.m. I probably won't get done with work until 8.30, depending on how court goes. So I'm thinking nine, but yeah, another night without Zach. I mean, technically it would have been another night without him today or tonight because he wouldn't have gotten back until like midnight, one o'clock, but at least he would have been home. So yeah that is that sucks i was looking forward to seeing him today or well at one o'clock in the morning but he didn't want to listen to his wife and take the first flight out but at least he gets to spend extra time with his friends that he doesn't get to hang out with and see on a normal basis but yeah i'm gonna make some food well actually i heated up leftover chicken strips from yesterday i don't know if i mentioned but zach was sweet and door dashed some chick-fil-a but i had already made dinner so i heated those up and i'm gonna use the salad from last night and do like a chicken salad situation for dinner and i should probably do that soon because she's has to get up for her next feed in about like half an hour and right now she is just chilling on me we are in the middle of the last feed of the night and she it's past our usual time i usually feed her around like 9 9 30 and it's like 
closer to 10 right now. But she was so sound asleep after her six o'clock feeding. And I didn't want to disturb her. I had to eat dinner and close up the house. So I used that opportunity. And even after that, I still had to slowly wake her up. She was heavy sleeping. And I am definitely not the parent to just wake her up by taking off her diaper and making her really wake up and scream and cry. Because that's just traumatizing. Imagine if someone did that to you. You're like nice, cozy, warm, and asleep, and then cold wipe to the butt. No one would like that. But after this, we can all head to bed. Get a nice night of rest. And I have to go into work later in the afternoon because I have court and then that's it hopefully Zach will be home tomorrow at some point and then Friday is my last like maternity leave day off completely and then I'm back full-time on Monday which I've been trying not to think about but I'm getting a little bit of anxiety about it. And by a little, I mean a lot. And I'm just hoping that uh, I get used to it at some point or get get better at coping with not being home with her, so. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but came here to tell you guys, oh, Joe and I are matching our mauve, from mauve sleep sack and my printed. That was so random. There's so many things that just happened right there. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, yeah, after this bottle, I'm gonna go to bed. AP's still downstairs, so I gotta wrangle him. And then we're all gonna go to bed, start up tomorrow.